uh, all blank ones. So if you want to, uh, if you want to come up and fill out a card, come on up and do it because uh, it'll be good for the whole year. And then if you have any changes to make on it, we'll make the changes. But you riders, uh, I want to have some more information on you guys, especially you guys that are up there in the top five all the time. Let's get fill out these rider information cards for this year. And we've got a bunch of blanks up here. For instance, we don't have any rider information cards on Richard Moore this year. So if Richard, you want to come up any time during the day and fill one out, I'm well, happy to help you out. Here we go. Open stop production got away first. 750 is going in there second. And that second wave, and now they head into turn number two, and it looks like Richard Moore, as we just got through talking to, uh, about him, is it going to take uh, a pretty sizable lead going into the turn number two. Now, you couldn't ask for a better day of racing. I think the winds will be calm all club racing. As they hit around turn number nine, here comes the open bikes first. Out in front, bike number uh, 772, and that is, uh, I don't have a 772, I've got Robert Kelly, 777, as the leader. Then comes Chuck Graves, running in second, sp uh, running in front in that, uh, in the 750 class. Richard Moore, back there in second spot, and Graves is, uh, I guess, after a, a di very disappointing ninja start, is showing what he can do on these big bikes in that 750 class. He's just stormed away from everybody, and you just don't uh, run away from uh, Richard Moore like that. Moore's going to have his work cut out for him the rest of this race, trying to keep Graves in sight. Remember, Chuck Graves, he's the rider that needs that uh, part for uh, his ninja. Anybody happens to have a ninja out here today, like today, he'd deeply appreciate it. But right now, boy, he's a man possessed out there uh, winning that uh, 750 class as they head up into turn number three and four. Running a second spot overall was bike number 878, and that was Rob Lansons on a Suzuki. In third spot, 275, that on a Yamaha was Greg Worby. And in fourth spot, bike number 258, that was Dan Goldenberg on a Suzuki. Those are the your open class, stock class. So in the 750 stock class, it is still Chuck Gray is in front. In fact, it should be interesting to see if Graves can uh, work his way through this uh, open class field and maybe take the lead overall. We'll find out. Here comes Graves. On E3, Richard Moore in second spot. In, uh, in third spot, bike number five is David Morris running in third spot. Got a yellow situation up there in turn number six because of a rider down. He's been down for a couple of minutes, and we've known. Rider is up and okay. Okay, checking for our leaders, our overall leaders right now. Coming down the front straightaway again, it should be Robert Kelly. In fact, I think he's one of your novice riders doing a great job holding off uh, second spot right now, 878. That's uh, Rob Lensons, and here they come. In fact, just as I said, bike number 275 takes over the lead. That was Greg Worby on the Yamaha. It just went like a bullet by uh, the other rider. So Lassens now is in second spot, and bike number 772, Robert Kelly in third. 
And look at this now. Graves and uh, Moore starting to close in on each other. In fact, Moore is all over Graves' tailpipe in that 750 stock production lead. Of Graves, looks like they're in jeopardy, and they come up on a lapped rider, and oh, they go into turn two, three abreast. And look at this. Moore took advantage of it, and Graves now has slipped back into second. Moore is taking over the lead in the 750 class as they hit around turn number two. Now let's see if Graves can come back. Moore leads, and uh, they're coming up on another open class rider. So they between Moore and Graves as they hit around turn number four. Both those riders in red, and they're coming up on an open rider, and they're just laughing, just swoop right on by him like he wasn't even there. These 750 riders are really out for blood here today. As they go around that uh, open class rider, as they go around uh, the little knoll there, go down that back straightaway, and now it is Moore with Graves in second. Mechanical problems. It looks like it was 878. Rob Lansons, who's uh, out of the race. Greg Worthy's got a big lead now in open class. And look at this. Moore now is in second overall, first in class. Graves running third overall, second in class as they go by the start finish line and hit it in turn number one. So just as I said a couple of laps ago, that Graves had the big lead and Moore had his work cut out for him. Moore definitely more than made up for that as he's uh, taking over the lead now and Graves is starting to fall back. Remember, Moore's going to be running in this uh, Suzuki GSX-R series, and he's got to uh, get himself in shape for that. There's a lot of money on the line going to the winners in the 750 stock production classes and the 1100 stock production classes. We're halfway through the race. Let's call up the next race. Let's get up to the pre-grid, please. Six, about five minutes ago, that was Henry Rodarte, by number 355 on the Kawasaki. On the 13th of April, by the way, tickets for that are going on sale today. But right now, I've got a pair of tickets to the show, plus a copy. It's only a matter of time, it looks like, before the 750 riders overtake for the lead overall, and I think they might have already done it. Let's check it as they come out of turn number nine. As they come down the front straightaway, and it's still 275. That is Greg Werther, but I'm afraid that Yamaha is not going to last too much longer in the lead, as Moore now is going to probably overtake him as they head into turn number one, with uh, Chuck Gray is settling in now in a very cushy second position in class, third overall.
White flag coming out. And right now, Richard Moore holding on to the big, big lead. And we're looking for Chuck Graves coming out here in second spot. And he looks over his shoulder. And Chuck sees uh, three riders duking it out for uh, third and fourth. Look at this. 667 is going to try and take over third spot. Tom Lynch. Looks like he took over third spot coming by that start finisher. We'll keep an eye on him. He's a novice rider doing quite well for himself out here for his first time. And he's running now in third in his class, in the 750 class. As he just passed bike number five, that was uh, David Morris. Who, uh, Morris, another middleweight, lightweight rider who looks like he's uh, moved up now to the uh, bigger bikes this year. Morris has always been an excellent 450-600 uh, production rider. On our last lap, and really not much to tell, the story of this race is uh, more or less what Richard Moore, uh, the deficit he had to overcome, and he overcome it very quickly, and now it's pulled off to a pretty easy uh, lead, and it looks like he's going to take the win. And remember, he's getting himself in shape and uh, getting his bike tuned in for the uh, Suzuki GSXR Cup races, which will be uh, taking place here in a couple of weeks. On March the 14th, 15th weekend, might want to come out on the Ides of March and, we'll, and watch uh, the second round of the GSXR uh, series. Also, Yamaha series will be starting then. And Kawasaki, of course, will always be pitching in their uh, contingency prize money. And I believe Honda will be starting their Hurricane Series as well in a couple of weeks. Uh, Sandy Farnsworth, the registration, please. Sandy Farnsworth, the registration.